Good morning, welcome, welcome everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Chrissy, and today I'll be giving you a prediction reading for the 23rd of June. Oh, I've got the sun shining here guys, so I'm gonna be getting some washing, getting out in the garden, getting a few jobs done outside today. We've had grey skies and rain for like a week. Um, I'm hoping you guys in the UK, Canada and America are finally getting your summer that you well deserve after all the rain and cloud and grey skies that you've been having. Um, certainly strange weather conditions uh, globally, guys. I haven't got any admin, guys. Welcome anybody new to my channel as well. We welcome everybody here. Please feel free to comment. I've got to get back to a lot of your comments today. Bear with me, guys. It can take me a day or two sometimes. That's if I can find them and that's if YouTube gives them to me. Um, sometimes they are known to vanish on my channel, guys. Uh, like buttons and please consider subscribing. Like I said, it'd be lovely to have you here. Hey, guys, I'm just going to read um, a little section of we always talk about Eckhart Tolle's finding your life's purpose like the great awakening um I think he wrote this many many years ago I, I, I don't know but I think this book was published about 2016 um I just want to read you this little bit because I think it's quite relatable um once you have had a glimpse of awareness of presence, because the reason I want to read you this is because we're, we're really learning to live in the now. That's the biggest part of the awakening and learning to be present. Okay. Once you've had a glimpse of awareness of presence or presence, you know it firsthand. It is no longer just a concept in your mind. You can then make a conscious choice to be present rather than to indulge in useless thinking. You can invite presence into your life. This is to say, make space. With the grace of awakening comes responsibility. You can either try to go on as if nothing has happened, or you can see its significance and recognize the arising of awareness as the most important thing that can happen to you. Opening yourself to the emerging consciousness and bring its light into this world then becomes the primary purpose of your life. So while you are perhaps still waiting for something significant to happen in your life, you may not realize that the most significant thing that can happen to a human being has already happened within you. The beginning of the separation process of thinking and awareness. Many people who are going through the early stages of the awakening process are no longer certain what their outer purpose is. What drives the world no longer drives them. Seeing the madness of our civilization so clearly, they may feel somewhat alienated, alienated from the culture around them. Some feel that they inhabit a no man's land between two worlds, meaning they are no longer run by the ego, yet the arising awareness has not yet become fully integrated into their lives. Inner and outer purpose have not merged. And I think that's very relatable for us guys. That's why I wanted to read that to you. I, I love the, the bit about we feel alienated. We feel like we're in this no man's land. And I think that's what a lot of us talk about here. It's like most of our life we've never quite fitted in. And now that we've been the first wave of people um, to come through the awakening process, it's been very challenging. It's like sometimes you do feel like you're in no man's land. We're, we're caught between this world and that world. But really, it's it's we're in that conscious, very opened up conscious state now where our senses are very heightened. We're highly intuitive now. We're talking all the time about telepathy here, getting hearing and sending messages, frequency vibrations. Um, I, just, I just thought that was very interesting because once you awaken, it's almost like you can't unsee what you see, isn't it? You, you, and, and we do live in sort of both worlds. We're torn, we're in the 3D world and we're still moving towards, we call it Terra Bella here, which is our beautiful new earth that we're shifting into. And other people are coming along with that as well because it's about letting go of the ego. That's what the awakening is. It's 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 the cracking open and, and letting the ego just poof, disappear, basically. Cheers, everyone. I have got my coffee this morning. It's certainly been a process. That's a very good read if anybody wants to read it too. A lot of us here follow Eckhart Tolle. Most of you know him. He's absolutely master at teaching and living the now. I remember when I first went through my dark knotted soul um, awakening process, it was just so painful. Um, I will never forget it. I remember laying on the bathroom floor thinking, 
what is happening to me? Um, that soul breakdown can be very uncomfortable and we all experience it in different ways. Um, but once you once you emerge, as we always say, from that caterpillar in the cocoon and crack it open and emerge into the butterfly, that feeling of freedom just comes over your body and you, you release things that you've been carting around forever, like the biggest, heaviest Santa sack that you've been dragging around all your life of other people's emotions, feelings that we've absorbed and taken on. We drop it. We drop it. We call it the backpack of burdens um, and it's very freeing. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I know you can all relate. All right. I haven't got any admin, like I said, so I'll get straight into the reading, guys, see what comes up. Um, they're showing me keys are turning in a door lock. So there's a door handle and a key turning. And this means they're opening the next part of the reset. Oh, this is not going to be good, guys. What more could there be? What's left? They're, they're unlocking the next part of the reset, these global leaders. We're going to start hearing about some very strange things now, guys. Um, we did say this six months was going to be very weird and confusing. Well, it's just about to get more confusing as they open the door it's like the secret hidden door. Um, and I would say, too, a lot of these leaders probably didn't even know about some of the stuff that's involved with Clown Show 2.0, Great Reset, whatever you want to call it, that's emerging this year. So I am seeing this key turning, and they're about to unlock all the mysteries hidden behind the door. And it's showing me, like, when the door opens, it's, like, real creaky, scary door, like, you know, a creaky wooden door opening. And it, it's just black. It's just black darkness. It's like walking into a black room. That's what I'm getting. Um, wow, that sounds promising, doesn't it? Lots of head, guys. So I'm getting this. They're unlocking the next part of the reset. This cannot be good. Sorry, guys. It is quite chilly here this morning. This can't be good. So it, things are about to start to come out. We're going to start to see more, all right, of their big global plans <laughs> you know what i can't get over guys and i keep telling you about them normalizing the bugs and all that down here with the what were they the cricket corn chips and all this stuff like are people going to accept that surely not surely not we've been telling people this for four years that this was their intention surely people aren't going to rush out and buy those packets of corn chips are they sometimes i just start thinking oh no they're not going to fall for this crap, are they? Thinking they're very high in protein and good for them. So many questions, haven't we, guys? It's mad. I do. I just think about these things, the way they just desensitize and make everything normalized. Oh, and then they just introduce it. It's so frustrating, isn't it, guys? We've been telling people this stuff for years and no one listens. Oh, anyway. All right. I'm getting now, they're really going to push for the darkness to override the light. The light's getting too bright. See, I keep saying this. With these marches going on in London and Europe and all over the place, they're popping up. They're starting to pop up, which is what we want. The darkness is starting to override the light again. They're going to really come out. It's like they're going to throw a big black blanket over everything or a big black, well, we could call it the big black carpet now. The black carpet reset um, is what I'm getting. Um, they really want... The darkness is really pushing now to override the light. So we're going to have some mm, challenges ahead, guys. I am seeing the black carpet. Uh, let's see what else I'm getting. Um, yeah, and it's just saying they want to squash the little people. They don't want the little people to have a voice. We know this has been happening for a while. Scotland, you got the, oh, what do you call it, the hate speech bill through we've got it here in australia there's more and more of this kind of thing going on just to shut down and keep the little people small and insignificant without a voice um so i'm getting that this there's going to be more of this oh we know it's going to happen in china don't no doubt at all um there's going to be more of this happening more of the shutting up of the little people well i think we'd all agree here on my channel on youtube more censorship much more censorship um, very, very tight. Well, they're saying social media things will be very tight and restricted on that. Um, I will get the warnings. You know how you guys are getting under my videos, apparently the global boiling, global warming, 
um, messages, apparently. I don't even know what they are. What is it an ad for? I don't even know what it is. Um, because we talk about it so much here, of course. So more censorship. But I'm even seeing mainstream media, they're going to really up the fear. And this is why we're getting the black carpet. The fear is going up. Guys, every time I turn on my computer or something to load a video, I've got the virus scare. They've got the pictures of the variants. They've got the bird flu event. They've got the war with Putin. They've got... You're all getting this. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So the fear is going to rise up. Oh, and now what is it? Someone mentioned the other day, which we've known about for a few years, that was coming, the flesh-eating virus. You know, just all this scandemic stuff. And oh, it just... They're going to really up it. But it's going to be different things too now. It's going to be different. Well, I told you guys the other day, they were on TV here talking about how, yes, water gives you cancer. Oh, yes, because everything gives you cancer. And Or was it heart attacks? I don't know. I get that muddled up because they just feed us so much garbage. Um, so we're going to get like more of this, more of the fear. Fear on mass, I'm getting. Fear on mass. <laughs> Let's see. Hang on. They're showing me like black curtains being drawn and it's that Wizard of Oz energy again where the little wizard's behind um, typing away on the little computer screen, the little men behind the curtain, just like the Wizard of Oz. Um, it's all fake trickery and the big black curtains are getting drawn again to to scare, to scare make sure that everyone's very scared. Um, we know how much... Oh, God. Looking back, guys, you can't even believe how that big picky event... How it scared people to death. It scared people to death. I remember going to my daughter's graduation in the middle of it all from primary school. And they all get dressed up and they go to this big hall. And unless you were picky and wearing a mask, um, you had to show your picky on your phone, you weren't allowed in. So we had to stay outside and there was one more woman. There was three of us outside and probably I reckon 150 people inside, adults and staff. And like, it just, it really highlighted to you how many people just go straight to fear. That, I'm just using that as an example. I know you've all experienced these things too. But just how people go straight to fear. Like, they choose, I don't even understand it. I know as BS detectors, freedom fighter, maverick rebel, brave hearts, that we are, because that's just how we are. It's very hard for us to understand why people go instantly to that fear and why they trust their government and why they trust everything that comes out on the mainstream media. Um, but a lot of people, I mean, we know a lot of people are waking up to a lot of the stuff because it's not adding up. It's not making sense. I tell you what, um, owning a battery shop, people are waking up to the lithium too. We don't have any lithium in our shop at all. Um, we don't even really sell it, to be honest. Um, we've sort of stopped that whole thing. But people are waking up to it, guys. It gets talked about now. But it, it, the interesting thing is how people go to fear. So this is how they're going to roll the black carpet out. They've got to work on the fear. And I do believe one of the big fears will be one that works very well is war. Because we know all the like MPOX, this variant, that variant. Um, they're, not, they're not really having a great impact on people anymore because people are kind of over it. Like I say, they've got burnout. They've got picky burnout. They're, they're just exhausted from it. And they've all had it. So, basically, I feel like they're going to start to look at other things. They've got to up the war. Um, they've just they've got to get this fear up. Because the fear is the, is the frequency they want people in. Because it makes people submissive to their government. They follow along. They want to be saved by the government again. Um, they don't want people rising up and standing to the government because that highlights and puts a spotlight on everything that's going on. So they've got to do whatever they can to squash the little people. This is this is going to continue, guys. It's going to start to really... They're going to really up the ante with the fear. Mm. God. It's just... Ugh. How's the world we're living in, guys? You can't even believe this is happening around us, can you? All right. Still getting Germany's rising against their government. They're so strong-willed in Germany. They do not want to go back to the way they were before. And I think mm, they would be people, as we know, that would carry very deep trauma from their past relatives, etc., etc., And a lot of shame and guilt and things. And now there's a lot of this stuff going on around the Jews and all this stuff again. It, it would trigger that response in people. Let's not go back to that those dark times. People want light. 
People want joy. People want hope. Um, and that's what I'm getting for Germany. They're, they're very strong-willed. They won't give this up. They won't give it up. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. All right. And I'm getting this last night, guys. I don't know about you guys, but I had these couple of panic attacks last night. Just very mild, but anxiety, like, bit panicky. Um, and I could feel my heart beating, like... <clears throat> and I'm getting that song, beat boy, beat boy, beat boy, hit that perfect beat boy, beat boy, beat boy, hit that perfect, hit that perfect beat. I think it's Bonsky beat, isn't it? Jimmy Somerville, Bonsky beat, I'm sure. Um, I'm getting now, people are feeling that beat, that vibration in their heart. See, this is the awakening. It's, it's changing. And when people start feeling like, well, I guess you could say like heart palpitations, strange kind of feelings, um, vibrationally, um, this, this goes on in a lot of people's bodies. It, it's an, it's an unsettling feeling is what I'm getting for people waking up. Not us. We've already been through it, guys. If you're watching my channel, you're already awakened. Um, we recognize these things now when they start to happen. And most of the time we see it as a collective energy. That's a frequency that's having an effect on us because we understand how vibration works. Um, and when things are happening on a very large scale collectively, and the consciousness is rising up and shifting, it has an impact on sensitive souls and intuitives, of course. So I do feel now people are having these heart, not just heart attacks, they're having these heart panic attacks because it's their reality starting to kick in that what the hell is going on with our lives? Why is this happening? Um, and you think of the panic too around financially trying to survive and feed your family, uh, et cetera, et cetera, and where's this all headed and where's it all going? Uh, that, that causes people a lot of disturbance. So I am feeling there's that beat now. The beat, people are starting to feel the beat of the consciousness rising. I am getting that. I, I think people are really starting to um, sense that something's changing within their bodies. And it's just a soul breakdown. Like we know what it is. It's your soul breakdown. You get out of your head and the clutter and you start to live in a more peaceful heartfelt place that's what the awakening is it's just a different frequency that's all and people are starting to feel that that beating and that panic um which we sometimes sense guys don't we um and and i've i always have been suggesting to you lately to maybe go watch greg braden he has a lot of videos about the heart frequency and how it's like the biggest organ in your body that does send and emit vibration that others pick up on and feel. So maybe check out Greg Braden. He's very good. He's got some good videos. Because these things affect us as well, guys. Um, it's not like we can just go, right, plonk, we'll plonk ourselves over here and we'll, we will not get affected by anything because we still do because things radiate. We know how that works. We get the ripple effect still. All right. Still getting Europe's rising. Oh, they're rising to the challenge. They're coming up, guys. They are. Not that any of us sit here or anything because there's zero on any mainstream media, of course. Um, but I'm still getting Europe's rising. Getting China, China da. Mm, this is interesting. And Trudeau's being very, very forceful. Forceful, sorry, with the people. He's forcing a lot of his... Mm, rules and regime regime type behavior onto the little people now he's being extremely forceful we knew it was coming we knew he was going to do this that's why i think i still think you might get stand-ups fight backs um he's going to push he's pushing very hard we know he's a person who would really want to get his black reset carpet out um and it's, the thing is, it's not making people feel safe. People in China do, do not feel safe anymore. Um, it almost feels to me, this could be long term, that China is feeling now it's got a few enemies um, with other countries. Um, see, Trudeau's not a smart man. He's a dictating man, but he's not a smart man. He... No... Mm, Hang on, let me see where this is going, guys. Well, this is what I'm getting. He's going to start drawing himself into the war talk. I feel like he's going to start upping his military, getting more soldiers, 
oh, I hope it's not around the conscription and things like that. It, it may not be, but he's wanting to build. He would love to do that where you go straight into the armed forces after school kind of thing. See, it's all that regimented doctrinate, indoctrinating young ones and all this kind of thing to su support your kind. Of, so I feel like if Trudeau d f goes like further, fingers he doesn't, he would really like the militarization of everything. He would like to really be like Panda um, with his military. Um, he wants to rise up to that and have that very warlike domination on the stage. That's something that he he um, aspires to is um, like making a war stance is what I'm getting. Oh, he's a clown. But it's all just power. Like, don't be scared over there. It's not. It's not that you're going to war or anything like that. It's just him. It's just him on the world stage, um, creating a presence for himself. That um, he's a very important person, and don't mess with our country. It's it's more image um, for Trudeau. That's where his goals are. That's where his mind's headed um, down that road of what well, we know dictatorship. But also, he wants other countries scared of. Chine it up. Like, don't come attacking us because we can hold our own. That's what I'm getting. Oh, he's he's living in fantasy land, Trudeau. He, he's just unrealistic. How do we get rid of Trudeau? Because Trudeau must go. Trudeau must go. Um, how do you get rid of him? Oh, he's like poo on your shoe, isn't he? He's very hard to get off your shoe over there, especially when he wasn't voted in by the people. I mean... How do these people have so much power? Sorry, guys. I know that's not what you want to hear about him. But anyway, I might be stuck with him for a little bit longer, I think, I'm afraid. Oh, God. What has he done to your country? It's just so ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, fingers, you do get those stand-ups and fight-backs. And he won't want them. He, he will hate them because it will just take him back to the Ottawa thing. It, it, and the thing is... Things like that trigger Trudeau. He gets so angry inside. He's like this angry little man inside. He doesn't. He tries not to come across that way, but he gets really pissed off at the little people. Like, why aren't you just going along with what I want to do? I'm the dictator. I'm the ruler. Why aren't you all looking up to me like a godlike figure? That's how he thinks. He's insane. He is. He's a bit insane. All he needs really is the mo, and then he'll pretty much fit the mold. Oh my god! All right, guys. Australia. <laughs> I'm getting Australia's capital at yes, Elbow. He's capitalising on his ties with Panda. Oh, yes. Elbow's making some big money now, guys. Uh, oh, Elbow's very happy about his connections with Panda. Um, big money-making schemes. Oh, we know what it'd be. Selling Australia off to Panda. Giving them whatever they want. Whatever mining sites, etc. Resources. Um, so I feel like Elbows like really dotting the I's and crossing the T's. He's he's signing a lot of things off, and of course the people are unaware as per usual of what's going on in the uh, background, um, because he just feels like he's got the authority and he's got the knowledge, and the little people, peasants, and they go people and little plebs wouldn't know what's going on because they're a bit clueless. So he'll just make the big decisions without consulting anybody. So I do feel like he's very proud of himself at the moment. He, he's got the old pigeon chest puffed up, like he's really achieving and ticking off goals. Ah, bloody elbow. I hope we go to the vote soon. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, the big Biden and Trump talk is coming soon, isn't it? Their big little pre-election talk or whatever it is. Can't wait for it. Is it going to be the like doppelganger? It will be, won't it? Oh, I can't wait, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. I think it's the 28th, isn't it? It's coming up. <laughs> Must be this week, is it? Oh, great. I think it's Friday. Um, God, imagine it. All right. <laughs> I can't wait to hear Trump. <laughs> all right, hang on. Let's get America. Yeah, all eyes are going to be on this. I think that's why I got America. All eyes are going to be on this. Um, but to be quite honest, I'm seeing that people aren't really undecided. I'm still seeing like 75% Trump, 25% Biden. That's what I'm getting still. The ratio is crazy, and they're going to really work this um, 
question and answer thing or debate rather you call it don't you this is going to be very structured debate um it's going to be interesting outcomes from this debate the guides are saying of course they're going to show biden in the best light of course they are um He might have an earpiece in, even, like they're saying, which is probably right. So he can just repeat what someone's saying. <laughs> of course, because Obama would be in the background doing his bent with a crystal <laughs> event. Oh, God. It must be hilarious over there at the moment in America. I can't even imagine. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm getting this visual of what people feel about Biden. A lot of people are just seeing like the tumbleweeds just in the desert. I keep getting that. I keep getting that in the visuals of tumbleweeds and him just like standing there like like an old tumbleweed just tumbling along in the desert. That's what I'm getting for Biden. That's the image people have of him. Is he like an old has-been? It's all over. I'm just getting that. Oh, fingers guys, that's true. I am getting that. He's had his time and he's like an old tumbling tumbleweed now, just rolling on out. That's what I'm getting. So fingers, that is the truth, guys. Um, all right. Getting New Caledonia again. I'm still seeing civil unrest in New Caledonia. Even though Macron's backed off with his mm, taking away their democratic rights, um, trying to quieten it all down before, why he hit them before the Olympic Games, I do not understand anyway. Um, but I'm still feeling a bit of civil unrest there. Um, things are still ugly. Um, it's, it, people still can't travel there. Things are still very volatile and awkward. Um, it's an uncomfortable place. I suggest nobody goes there for a while. Um, but I am getting that because the people know he's going to come back and stomp on them after the Olympic Games. They know he's just done it to shut them up. So I'm still getting civil unrest in New Caledonia. Ah, oh, Macron. <sighs> um, I am getting Papua New Guinea again, which is the top part of Australia that Chris Luxon from New Zealand visited recently. The one I talk about, maybe China's getting its little mitts in to there. Um, we know they've got diamond mining. They've got some very valuable resources up there. There's a lot of civil unrest up there as well between tribes, etc., etc. Um, I'm still getting Papua New Guinea. Um, they're a bit on the world stage, Papua New Guinea. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, I told you they had that. Um, landslide right next door to a big mine. Uh, so there's a lot of questions that we have still. So, but I'm feeling like um, Papua New Guinea's a very, very, I'm not saying very wealthy country. Well, it's an island actually, but they're 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 very um, sought after, is what I'm getting. Interesting. So I am getting that. They're definitely on the world stage now. Um, I just keep getting it. They keep showing me their prime minister. Um, I'm not sure what his name is, but um, he's a good he's a good willer and dealer. He's a good willer and dealer. He knows that they've got a lot to offer. Um, and he picks and chooses. He picks and chooses. Like he's he's quite fussy on, well, he it, fussy in the sense that he wants to make the most money out of, well, for his island. Like he wants to get maximum amount of dollar. Um, well, it's saying for his people, but <laughs> probably not for the people because the little people never seem to get much out of it, do they, guys? Um, perhaps he could use a lot of it on infrastructure and things like that, but I do feel he, that Papua New Guinea is going to be quite a well-recognized island moving forward. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, what is that? I can't, this world, honestly. Anyway, how about we pull some cards, guys? Um, let's pull some cards. Let's see what we get. We'll pull a fairy oracle. Oh, 
Oh, gosh. They're all jumping out. Oh, hang on, I've got one. Far out. The littlest fairy. <laughs> Appreciate the beauty and value of the exquisite and small. The littlest fairy. Look, sitting on a little mushroom toadstool thing um, with the little butterfly wings. Already awakened. So I guess in a way... As much as we've been made in society to feel little because we're the conspiracy theorists, granny killers, tinfoil hat wearing, flat earthers, etc., etc., we're actually not that little. The little fairy. Appreciate the beauty and value of the exquisite and small. And it, what's that saying? Good things come in small packages. <laughs> you think about it, you could get a diamond ring in a very small package, example. Um, so it's not always about the size of the um, fight in you. It, it's the, um, it's sort of saying the quality. It's the quality. It's not the quantity. We're getting, it's the, oh God, I'm getting muddled up. It's the quantity. It's the quality, not the quantity. Um, the littlest fairy. That's so cute, isn't it? I love it. I love that, the littlest fairy. So we're, and, and if you think about it, we've taken that step back now. We're not as vocal as we used to be either. We're just sort of a bit more quiet and humble these days, aren't we, guys? I'm going to pull a hidden world as well. <coughs> <coughs> the littlest fairies. <laughs> the quiet achievers, I would call that. Ooh, what have we got here? Healing the earth, love, humility, and respect. Oh, there we go. That's magic, isn't it? Look at that visual. See, bringing the light, healing the earth, getting the frequency up. All we've got to do to do that too, guys, is just continue being ourselves, stay in our truth, our integrity, um, <coughs> and believing in ourselves too, I think, to be quite honest, and staying out of fear. Life Alignment Oracle. Let's do that. Shuffle these a bit more. Oh, oh, they're jumping out everywhere. <laughs> they're very jumpy today. I'm getting that song in my head at the minute, Waterloo by Abba. Waterloo, how would you feel if you won the war? <laughs> That'd be us. Waterloo. Couldn't escape if I wanted to. Oh, this is cute. We got two. I'm connected to all and I am more than this physical body. Ah, so true. Look at that, guys. We already know this part. But I think we're learning about this part too because we feel that vibrational frequency. We know we're more than this physical body. We're a spiritual being, aren't we? I'm connected to all. And I am getting that song Waterloo. Let's see if there's anything else to close off with. How would you feel if you won the war? The awakening war. Oh, we'd feel great. That'd be great. <laughs> all right, hang on a minute. Now they're giving me Abba's ring, ring. Why don't you give me a call? Ring, ring. Why don't you give me a call? Do, 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 ring, ring. Um... And, and that to me is that telepathy, telepathy. I'm getting telepathy there around that. <laughs> we have a new way of ringing up. We might not need the iPhones. That'd be good, guys. We can just ditch the iPhones and just use our telepathy to give someone a call. Don't laugh. That'll probably happen in the future. Don't they say that happens when people have alien encounters? They just talk through telepathy. Um, that's what you hear from those stories. All right. One minute. Oh, and thanks, guys. I always get that song, Rock Me, and that's by Abba, too. Thank you for confirming that for me, guys. All right. I was getting all Abba today. I'm getting, can you hear the drums, Fernando? I was young and brave and fun, not a song of some of you. I was old and grave, Fernando. <laughs> um, well, I'm getting that song, the Abba song, Fernando. Let me see if there's anything else. I'm getting that song. Boy, what's with the ABBA today? I've been cheated by you since I don't know when. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Look at me now. Can I ever turn? I don't know how. 
Cause I lose control. One more look and I can hear a bell ring. Oh no, that's the same song. One more look and I can get a bell ring. Oh, oh. Oh no, that's Mamma Mia. Why am I getting Mamma Mia? I'm just getting all ABBA today. I don't know, guys, why I'm getting it. Uh, Mamma Mia. Here we go again. Oh no, here we go again. I hope it's not the immortal CB virus. Here we go again. Um, let me see if there's one more thing. Hold the fort. Oh, I just had another one on the tip of my tongue. Hang on. Oh, I'm getting SOS. Is that the song? Is that what it's called? So when you're near me, darling, can you hear me? SOS, when you're gone. Though I try, how can I carry on? I don't know why we're getting all the ABBA today. We're just getting ABBA. Um, for all you Swedish people over there. Um, I'm just going to leave you with SOS today. Let's go listen to a bit of ABBA today. Maybe there's messages in there. Maybe they were awake back then, guys. Who knows? SOS. We need a bit of SOS, don't we? There were times we needed SOS. Um... Darling, can you hear me, SOS? Maybe a lot of this is around this telepathy. I'm not sure, guys. Anyway, we're going to go and listen to a bit of ABBA today. Well, we hardly ever get ABBA, do we? All right, I'm going to say goodbye for Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. I'm off to enjoy the sunshine, wash the car, do all the domestic chores. You know how it goes. And like buttons. I'll get back to your comments today. Take care, everybody, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.